Hello, in this um, tutorial we're going to look at assigning values to variables. Uh, so I've written a comment here actually and um, it's a multi-line comment. So if you want to have one line of comments like this, that's just text on one line, the next line wouldn't be a comment anymore. And that starts with two slashes, but you can also have multi-line comments with slash star and they end in star slash. These stars are just decorative. We don't actually need them. They just look nice, but uh, that's why Eclipse put them in. But this video is about assigning variables. So if you want to have comments on multiple lines, you can just enclose them with slash star and finish them with star slash. Okay, so let's declare some variables here. I'm gonna have int dogs equals eight and int cats equals three. And we can output those values so we can say dogs is that and the number of cats we're going to have cats cats and if we run that we should see what we expect let's check so yes it says down here dogs eight cats three okay now we can change variables as we go along so Underneath this, so underneath the system.out.print lines, underneath those, let's set the number of dogs equal to the number of cats. So I'm going to do that by saying dogs equals cats. And we'll output them again. Let's try this and see what it does. So if I run this now, we see, we see that the the number of dogs has been set to what the number of cats was set to, which is three. This can be very confusing for beginners. So to start with, we have eight stored in the variable dogs, and we have three, I should say, I'll use the proper language, I've got three assigned to the variable cats. And later on, we say, this, this is saying here, take whatever number is in cats and assign that value to the variable called dogs and then we display them again. Remember your, your program's working downwards so it does this, it does this, then we output those values and then we're changing the value in dogs and then we're outputting the values again. Um, this looks perhaps confusing because it reminds people of an equation for one thing. It looks as though we're saying the number of dogs and the number of cats is the same but that's not what we're doing here. This is um, assigning a value to the dogs variable. When we write a variable and we write equals and then some value, we assign a value to the variable. We're actually changing the value in this dogs variable using this assignment operator. Technically, it's not an equality operator. It's an assignment operator here, this equals. And the value that we're giving dogs is whatever value cats has. And that's three, because we assign the value three to it. So we end up with cats is unchanged, it's still three. And the number of dogs is eight by the time we run the program. Let's try this again. So there we go, they're both three. Now, these variables don't know about each other. They, they don't, it's not like they, the, it's not like the number of dogs is forever linked to the number of cats. So if I write here cats, equals 10. What have I done now? Well, the value of cats was 3. I set the number of dogs to the number of cats. I set it to 3. Then I changed the number of cats to 10. The number of dogs is still 3. So we should have dogs equals 3 and cats equals 10. Let's run this. And that's what we've got. Dogs 3 and cats 10. Uh, often uh, I want to output the values of variables multiple times as I go through my program. For example, when I'm debugging, and I like to just put numbers on those. So here I could say one, and this is one, and let's say this is two, and this is two. Makes it just a little bit clearer, I think, what's going on. So it looks like this. Try that out for yourself. So declare some variables. You can have two, three, however many you like. Uh, display them, try assigning new values to them and try assigning the value in one variable to another 
and display them again. And if you like, you can carry on, change the values again, output the values again in your console. It's really worth doing this. So you may be watching, thinking that you can just memorize this and you can up to a point, but you'll quickly lose the thread of what's happening if you don't practice. It's very important to practice this. Try it out practically. The more you do that, the better. Okay, so have a go at this yourself. Try declaring variables, outputting them, changing the values, outputting them again, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, happy coding.